art of filigree engraving in China has a history of over a thousand years. This crown is called Yishan Crown, or a crown for assisting good government was unearthed in 1956 at the Beijing Ding Mausoleum, where the Ming Dynasty Emperor Wanli Zhu Shu Jun rests along with his two empresses. Both the Emperor's crown and the Phoenix crown of the Empress Xiao Duan are masterpieces of Chinese filigree. The crown has been woven out of an extremely thin gold thread. It weighs 826 grams, is 24 centimeters tall, and has a diameter of 17.5 centimeters. On it, two fierce and imposing dragons seem to be fighting over a flaming pearl. A single golden thread has been woven, without knots or snaps, into a dense fabric that resembles fine gauze in its thinness. Amidst the cornucopia of funerary treasures in the Empress's mausoleum, there is little doubt that the Phoenix coronet is the finest. Its hollow dragon is made up of welded gold threads, while its phoenix has been assembled from kingfisher feathers. Already dazzling in its brilliant colors, the coronet still has pearls and precious stones set into it. The crowns of the emperor and empress embody the peaks achieved by Chinese filigreed engraving, which would continue to reach greater heights during the Qing Dynasty. In reaching the reign of Emperor Qian Long of the Qing Dynasty, we could not help but contemplate the Cup of Eternal Stability, a masterpiece of Chinese filigree engraving. The unique design of the cup with its inlaid pearls and gems is crowned by the exquisitely inlaid patterns carved into it by Qing Dynasty artisans. This art form is principally divided between filigreeing and engraving. The former refers to the use of a malleable metal, such as gold or silver, to produce thin or thick threads that are then twisted, inlaid, or welded depending on which traditional technique is utilized to produce all types of masterpieces. Engraving refers to the carvings upon the metal wares and the fitting in of precious gems or pearls. The first step of any work of filigree engraving is preparing the gold or silver threads that will be later utilized. The most common method is the careful extraction of the thread through manual rubbing. The hammers, pliers, scissors, and tweezers are the basic tools in the production of filigreed inlays. This master artisan in the midst of filigreeing carefully inlays the golden threads to produce a plum blossom or any other type of ornamental pattern. The crux of inlaying is making sure the fragment fits its frame perfectly. Should it be too thin or too thick, the entire process is ruined. The technique this master artisan is exhibiting is called chiseled engraving, where the pattern is first chiseled out of gold or silver sheets, and because of the level of pliability and toughness in gold is ideal, the depth of each cut has to be exactly right. After the pattern has been chiseled appropriately, the ornaments are ready to be welded onto the piece. The second crucial step in filigree engraving is the engraving itself, where the angle at which the gems are positioned will affect the aesthetic level of the entire piece. Filigree engravings have been cherished by emperors throughout Chinese history. Nowadays, the art form has already escaped from the confines of the imperial palace to become part of folk custom. The thousand-armed Guiyin, the flower basket inlaid with treasures, the door god, the century dragon, the palace of prayer inlaid with gems and pearls at the Temple of Heaven, or dragon boats, are some of the modern masterpieces that attest to this high level achieved by Chinese artisans' craftsmanship. Filigree engraving is an intangible cultural inheritance of Beijing City. An increasing number of people have come to treasure this inheritance as an ancient technique and are expected at the possibility that it may still breathe new life by new generations of artisans.